Right. Welcome to my class, everybody. This course is UI technology. What is that? This course is UI technology. So in this course, what I am going to discuss is what are the technologies we are going to discuss. Sir, what do you mean? What do you mean? Sir, yes. HTML version 5. CSS version 3. JavaScript, all the latest things also I will tell you. No need to worry. jQuery and Bootstrap. Four. These are the technologies I am going to discuss in this class. In this course. These are the five technologies. And before learning this course, do you have any prerequisites? No need to have any prerequisites. Just basic computer operation. How to start the computer, how to save any file. That basic fundamentals is required, that's it. Understanding that? So this is not, there is no necessity for any prerequisites. If you have any other language, uh, knowledge is okay. That is not a disadvantage. But if you don't have any knowledge also, that is not a problem. Easily you can understand it. Clear it everybody? There is no prerequisites. Why? Because this is a stepping stone for the software industry. Okay, this is a stepping stone for the software industry. Clear it everybody? Can you respond? HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, jQuery, and Bootstrap. There is no prerequisites are required. Okay, right. So what is this class today? Today only introduction can be possible because this is the starting of this class. So in the starting class, you know, only introduction can be possible. So before going to the introduction, I will use, I will introduce myself. My name is Ramesh. I have certain years of experience as a web developer on the trial. Okay? Right. Now what can be possible? UI introduction. So UI introduction. So introduction. So if you are walking in the uh, Amir Pet Street or any software industry trade, you will see something like this. Software industry training into trade. Do you get to plus UI? Right? Have you ever observed or not? It is one person that's one. So slash UI also somebody will keep in their uh, 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 board, in their practice also. He respond, I don't like silence. Hey, yes or no? Have you observed or not? Hello? Unmute yourself and please speak. What about us? Only Nitesh is responding. Prabhami is there, Mansur Ali is there. And others also. Who is this? Siri Reddy is there. He respond. Have you observed or not? Yes. Right. So then what is you get? What is you get? And what is the difference between them? Yes, for your knowledge you can ask. What is you get? And what is you get? Excel sheet. What is the difference between them? Or else? Both are same, or else both are different. If they are different, what is the difference between them? Any idea? Okay, Tiru, right. So now see here, UX. What is UX stand for is user experience. What is that? User experience. Yeah, perfect. User experience. Okay? Right. Then after UI stands for user interface. UI stands for user interface. They both are different. They are not same. They both are different. But UI is dependent upon UX only. They have a relation. Like you and your brother. You both have very strong relation. But you both are finally two individual persons. Right everybody? Respond please. Or else like you and your father also. You both are very strong relation. You both have very strong relation. But, however, you both are two individual people. Like that UX and UI also. They have a relation, but both are different. Okay? So coming to this UX, this is graphical part. This is graphical part. UI is programmatical part. Okay? Right. So UX is not included in our course. Only this UI related things are included. But little bit knowledge I'm sharing with you. I want to share with you, okay? What is UX and what is UI? What is the necessity for UX? 
Okay, right. So, that purpose, the, if you want to know the importance of the UX, uh, uh, UX design elements, we need to know how software industry functions also. We need to know how software industry functions also. So, in every software company, in every software company, in every software company, there will be some departments will be there. What are those? Sales department. What is that everybody? Sales department. Then after, business department. Okay. Then after, HR department. Okay. And then after, technical department. Okay, and then after CEOs, okay, those will be there. CEOs, CFOs, okay, forget about them, okay? Right. And especially, what is the sales department will do? Okay, I will explain this as a technical department who will contain, uh, what this technical department will contain uh, everything, I will tell you. So, first of all, we will go for one by one. Sales department, this department is made to get projects for the software industry. Understanding my point? This sales department is made to get projects for the software industry. That means your company. What they will do? They will promote our uh, uh, company also, of course. That is a CEO person's department also. So there will be other department also there. Technical department, the RS, SEO department. What is it everybody? SEORS, digital marketing. What is that everybody? Digital marketing. So these persons will promote our application about our company in the internet. Through in the Google also, in the Facebook, YouTube, whatever it may be, they will try to promote. Okay. Then of yeah, interaction with the client and project success. Yeah, yes, me then. Okay? Right. Then after what happens, this sales department will people will get some inquiries. Suppose some other user is there, his name is uh, Mahesh. So he wants to develop an application. So he don't know how to develop that application. What he will do? He will search for the software company. So like that he will search something in the Google and they will find some company's uh, uh, websites and they will send some inquiry. So my name is Mahesh. My email is this thing, my phone number is this thing. And I want to application. Okay, I want to develop an application, this type of application I want. Like that, he will send some inquiry. So that what happens, this sales department person will take care of, okay, will get the details. Okay, then after, they will call to the uh, uh, inquiry person. Okay, we can call generally as lead. Okay, lead. Suppose you are also leads to me in this class. Okay, whenever you make payment, then only you will become my student. Till then, you are just leads for me. Okay, like the same way because we are inquiring. Okay, when the graduate is starting, he, does he teaching very well or not? All those things, what are doing? We are inquiring. Okay, so till then, after making payment, you will be my uh, leads only. Like that, whoever inquired, that person will be leads only. They are not clients. Understanding difference between lead and client? That's one, everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay, right. So he just lead. So then after they will make a call to that lead and they will explain about the how our company functions, what are the applications they have developed, so who is our client, okay, or what is the good feedback we got, all those positive things they will explain to the client. Okay, they should have some good communication skills also. Okay, right. Then after this sales department person will forward that lead data if he is interested. Mm -hmm to the business department. Why? Because the, they are not aware of business requirements. They are only aware of project conduct. Okay? Project conduct. That means how much it will cost, all those things. Or else interacting with the client only. That much only they know. They don't know how to develop an application. So then they will forward that lead details to the business department. So who will be in this business department? Who will be in this business department? Sir, 
just uh, they have some basic knowledge zones okay so that they will ask for any reference so what type of application you want do you have any reference websites like that so if the client has any reference website in first you need to that business and it will go through that I application why right? what purpose to gather the requirements understand it everybody yeah requirements yeah perfect uh, needed okay he will gather some requirements If the client has some pure knowledge, he will give that requirement. Or else, the business only has to gather the requirement, and finally, he has to conclude. He has to convince, or else he has to explain whatever the possible way. He has to conclude the requirement. Okay, this type of application I want, something like that. Okay, right. If that application that the client is very interested, if he wants to develop in multiple ways, then he will take help from the BD or BDM also. Okay. But if he want only application okay. level, uh, only uh, the requirement, uh, he will uh, speak with the business analyst only, and the business analyst will be responsible for the business requirements the other end. Okay, understanding this point? What is the role of this business analyst? So when you are not responding, on the reality you are not responding from the starting. He is responding. He is responding and he is responding. What about that? Respond, so when you are muted, on the reality you are muted. They are not understanding or not. Answer. I am not getting your audio. Uh, take your uh, audio connection on. Yes, I am getting. Yeah, right. Yes, I am getting. Right. So, business analyst is the responsible for the business requirement. Okay. See, whenever application making, not only programmers, this business analyst also is the responsible for the application development. Why? He has to tell clear requirement. Okay, right. So suppose I told you to uh, go to some place. So I need to tell right which place you need to go. Okay, whom you will need to meet and what you need to speak. All those things I need to explain or not? That's fine, everybody. All those things I need to explain or not? Suppose I told you to go to Delhi. So directly you will go, or else I need to tell a personal thing. So go to this book shop, find this book and buy it and please give it to me. That type of instructions I need to give it or not? Respond. So what is that instruction? Requirements only. By using that requirements only, other person will get some idea. Like that programmer, what to develop, for what purpose they need to program. All those things depends upon the requirements. Requirements is the fuel in business application. You know bike. So without fuel, can we ride the bike? No. So fuel is very very important. Okay, in the same way, requirements of this QS, then only we are able to program. Okay, so this business analyst is the uh, responsible for that requirement. So once the requirement is finalized, once yeah, yeah Pawan, you want to ask anything? Right. Once the requirement is finalized, then the officer they will conduct a meeting with the technical department. Okay, so before that, before conducting that meeting, what they will do? This business analyst will send the requirements documents to the technical department. So, how many technical departments will be there? How many technical department persons will be there? How many technical departments will be there? There will be multiple. One is WAD. Web application development. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one is. Main application. Yes. That means not bad people. Mobile application development. Okay. 
M A D. And then after testing department. Then after testing department. Clear it everybody? Understanding or not? So this is the department it will be there for the application purpose. Clear or not? Respond everybody. Okay? Right. For all those persons, head will be project manager. Understanding my point? For all these persons, head will be project manager. Project manager. Okay? Right. For all these persons, head will be project manager. So, this business analyst, and every department there will be different different things. And whoever part of that application, that particular team that has the team leader also. So this business analyst and this web application development team leader and senior employee. Mobile application development team leader and senior employee. And the testing department team leader and senior employee. And this project manager. All these people sit in a room. Why? After reading the business requirement, why they will say definitely not to drink tea and chai biscuit. Understanding? That is not the criteria. For what purpose? Their major, main agenda is two points. One is the deadline. Yeah, they need to require to about the uh, requirement. Okay, right. And finally, the goal is to finalize the deadline. At least for a single module or for an entire application. That depends upon the application size. Okay, and then after how many persons are required for each and every department? Web application development, how many persons are required? Mobile application department, how many persons are required? Testing department, how many people are required? Like that. Okay? So that is uh, finalize the human resource. Okay? So then after what they will do? They will finalize the team size for each and every department and they will finalize the... Please put yourself seven. Right. They will finally the deadline for the application or else at least a single module. First of all, they need to finalize the deadline of the applied application. Then only they will make into modules and they will finalize the module deadline also. Okay? Right. Up to here, this is the agenda. And then after what they will do, all those things, they will forward to the sales department. Okay? So they will finalize the price. Depends upon the persons they are using, depends upon the effort they are keeping, okay, and depends upon the team size, and depends upon the requirement, and depends upon our, our calculation and everything, they will finalize the <coughs> price of the application, okay, and they will finalize the deadline of the application, and they will finalize the deadline of a single module. Also. If everything is fine with that price, and uh, application cost and uh, okay and deadline and module deadline and everything then lead will ask to start the work and you need to send some money not entire thing very just uh, confidence purpose you will send only little bit money only and application will start this is the process to start the application up to here it is clear respond everybody month already Nitesh Pawan Prabham Three ready and everybody respond confidently. Say yes or no, finally. Okay, right. So then after, what is the thing you need to do? So they will release some money, right? So then that lady is becoming the client. Why? They are releasing some money. So he will be our client. So after that, okay, this sir. Uh, in this web application department only there will be UES also, UI also and PHB developer, Java developer, .NET, whatever it is. All the departments are included. Combining all of the things are called as web application development. And Java, .NET, they will be part of desktop application development also. Okay? Right. And MAD, mobile application development. Android developers, iOS developers, hybrid application developers like that. Testing, manual testing department. RS, mission testing, that means programmatically. Selenium, 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So after gathering the requirement, in the UL department, who will start the bar? Do yet to design all. We will start the bar first. Understanding? So that UL designer has to have more common sense. Okay. They need to convert that requirement into application format. Understanding my point? They need to convert the mobile application, uh, sorry, uh, business requirement into application format. Application format means what? They need to keep data. What the header should contain? What the header should contain the icon? What are the appropriate logo? What are the appropriate color? How many colors are required? And what are the application? Uh, uh, what are the icons that application required? And what is suitable uh, icon for each criteria? And where need to place that uh, places? Uh, menu where need to keep? Products where need to keep? Product details where need to keep? Reviews where need to keep? Okay, social media promotion related things where you need to keep. Okay, all those things, he has to get some clear idea. Understanding it, everybody? Let's one place. Okay, right. Not directly templates, so Athiru, not directly templates, wireframe. So, after getting that idea, he will first design the wireframe. What is that? Wireframe. Wireframe means planning for our application. Wireframe means planning for our application. What is the planning? I will describe for you. For example, see this. Suppose you want to construct a home. Okay. Directly you will order the bricks and cement uh, and directly you will construct a home. You will write a plan. You will design a plan. Respond everybody. Respond please. You want to construct a home. Directly. Yeah. Respond everybody. Okay, directly will order the uh, cement, concrete daily. Uh, today one brick, tomorrow two bricks, then after ten bricks, then after one cement uh, pack, then after ten cement packs like that, or else uh, first of all we'll design your plan, we'll design your plan. Like that, whenever they want to develop an application also, they should have a plan. That plan, directly they don't design, they pay. They will design in a graphical tool, graphical software. Why? Because that is very easy to modify. If any requirement, changes are there. Or else if any modifications are there, it is very easy to modify. So that's why we need to go for Okay, wireframe. What is this? Is it? Why wireframe? Wireframe means for plan of the application. See it? See it, everybody? Coming at everyone? Hello. See it? This is the logo. This is the plan. So, this is the header part. This is the menu part. And set area also. And this is the food part, product part. Okay, right. And this is the reviews part. And this is the photo part like this. And then after, and then after, see it. And again, this is dividing this header into two sections. Left side and right side. Clear it, everybody? Left side and right side. Okay, logo. Then after notification icon. Then after this slider. Above that, horizontal center. See it. Face is also exactly in the center. So, it is horizontal center. And from the top, it has a face. And then after, there is a search box. Searching to that. Searching to that. Okay, there is a menu. Menu 1, menu 2, menu 3, and menu 4. Okay, everybody. And then after, there is a product. And we are displaying four columns for each and every row. Understand that my point? For every column, we are displaying okay, four columns per a row. And then after there is a heading, printing, food. Then after best of us, there is also four columns. Then after reviews, for review slide, we are, uh, for review, we are displaying only two users. And this is the username area, and this is the, sorry, this is the user profile, and this is the description. And then after again, they are dividing vertically into two parts. 
bottom of the application is copyright. And again, they are developing three parts horizontally, left side, center, right. So left side, logo. Okay, again. And then after, little bit about about us. And then after in between, subscription. And then after, get in touch, social media icon. Clear it, everyone. Kindly respond. Hello. Okay, right. Social media icons. Okay, so first of all, he will send this plan to the client. So if the client is satisfied with this plan, okay, if the client is satisfied with this plan, see, some clients can understand the plan, some clients they don't understand also. So what they will ask, so don't do any way frame, please directly make the markup. Of course, if he understand also, directly you will ask for the markup. Okay, right. Then what is markup? Nothing but a brochure we can call in the L1. That means suppose you are not constructing a home, you want to purchase a already inbuilt home. That means you want to purchase from a realtor, no building only, but you want to purchase from a uh, uh, realtor. So that, uh, like, uh, okay, you want to uh, purchase a home in a good area, which is near to your kids' school, where is the parts are available, where is the, some movie videos are available, in that area, you want to take a home. So, Okay, and some nice, already some nice buildings are constructed. So what is, what are you doing? Till entire thing is not completed. Only plastering is completed. Or else some, uh, something is constructing also. So what you like, only that area. Because shopping complex are near, movie theaters are near, schools also near, vegetable park, market also near. Okay, and uh, everything is near for you. Your office also at least only 5 kilometers only away. So you, you choose that particular place only. So however you want to purchase a home in that area. So what you will do, though the con uh, construct is completed or not, you will try to book a flat. Right everybody, that's point. You will try to book a flat or not, that's point. If you like the area, that's point please, everybody. Right. So then what happens, whenever you want to purchase a flat, of course you are not, uh, uh, by blindly you don't purchase it. So what you will do, you will ask for the plan. After understanding this plan, what you will ask? Brochure. After completion of this building, after completion of this my flat, how my flat will look like? Where is the hall? Where is the kitchen? Where is the bedroom? Where is the bathroom? Where is the balcony? So, okay. How much space it has? All those things you will ask for a brochure or not? That's what you will ask. You will ask for a brochure or not? Before, uh, uh, purchasing it. Yeah, brochure is nothing but design. Right? So that one he will display uh, outside of the home how it will look like. After renting the home, each and every area, all of it will look like. How much space it is, how to design it, all those things. That plan also you will explain manually. Or else he will keep from so far. This is the best way to align your asset. And uh, where the kitchen will come, where the puja gadi will come. Sorry, where puja room will come, okay, where washrooms will come, where bedrooms will come, where cupboards will come, all those things, you will keep it in a brochure. Okay, if you, if you are feeling interesting, that home, then only you will purchase it. Right, everybody? Respond, everyone. Am I clear or correct or not? Respond kindly. Right. In the same way, okay, after planning, if, uh, if the client is, Okay, with this plan, then he will ask us for to see a brochure. Nothing but in application level, mark off. What is mark off? Exact plan and exact images in that plan. Okay, exact images in that particular plan. Now see it. Exact images in the exact plan. Simply you can say. See it everybody, header part, logo and orange color, four icons. And this is a background image, horizontally center, from the top it has a bar, uh, space, and set bar, and this menu, touching it, okay, and trending food, four columns only, and by default it is displaying here, only two sections, what is that, uh, item name and restaurant name, but whenever you over, it is displaying four items, four things, what is that, item name, restaurant name, 
price and order now button and best offers and then after reviews area and photo section. Clear it everybody? Respond. Okay, this is called a mock-up. Mock-up means exact images in the exact places. By seeing this, he will get an idea. And if you observe here, we are using some appropriate icons. By seeing this icon, what we are, what we need to understand? Respond everybody. By seeing this icon, what we need to understand? Okay, here if you click, address, location. If you want to book a table, you can need to click here. If you want to uh, see any price related thing, RLC page, if, they, if that application is offering any value, that related thing, you can uh, check it here. If you want to register also, login also, this is the user icon. You must click here. And if you observe here, he is using here magnifying icon. Why? By using magnifier, what we will do? We will search deeper. Okay, we are very busy. Suppose we lost something. Okay, what you will do? Sometimes you will use magnifying tool also. If that is, uh, if that uh, instrument, uh, if that uh, thing is very small. So that it will zoom. And that means it will uh, uh, display each and everything. Like that, here also, it will display each and everything in our application. So that's why they are sitting here magnifying icon. Understand that? And see that he is using here biryani icon, starter sauce, strawberry icon, drinks, okay, some milkshake icon. Milkshake related uh, glass. And book a table. And if you observe here, all the icons are representing the purpose or not. Respond everybody. Respond please. So this is called user experience. By seeing this uh, icon, you will experience something. By seeing this application, you will experience something. For example, mobile phone. Some parents are educated, some parents are not educated. They are illiterate. But however, in this days, at least basic phone is mandatory. So in that case, you want to educate the your parents. What you will do? Just how to operate the mobile. How to operate means how to how to speak in phone. After speaking, how to cut that phone. See, this is a basic fundamental thing. What you will tell? You don't explain the entire phone function. How we will dial? What happens generally? All those things. Simply, what you will tell? Whenever the phone rings, click on the green icon. Whenever you stop, whenever you want to uh, complete your uh, conversation, click on the red button. Right? That's what you want. We educate in this manner or not? Green and red buttons. So that what happens? By using that icons and by using that color, that everybody can experience something. So just because of that icon, we can explain the functionality also. So that is the importance of the icon. That is not a just dummy thing. We need to choose appropriate icon. For example, see their main course. Suppose you are also joining in a course today, UI technology. So can I can I keep here book or anything? Or can you material? Are there any Java book or PHP book like that in the place of main course? That's one everybody. No. Why? That is not fulfill our requirement. This is restaurant app. Okay. Not any education related thing. So we must use here any biryani items related things only we need to keep. Okay. And the starters. See there, he is not displaying any kick starting of the bike, that type of thing. He displaying here. Okay. Displaying here what? Strawberry. So nobody eat uh, uh, kilos and kilos of strawberries. Okay, five to ten strawberries they will use. That means starters only. Drinks. See other uh, hot drinks also there. This is only restaurant, not bar and restaurant. That's why they are not keeping here beer or whiskey bottles. Okay, they are also drinks, but that is not our criteria. What is this? This is a restaurant here. Yeah. So we need to keep here milkshake related uh, uh, glass ones. Understand my point. And then after book a table. In our classes also, in our colleges also, we have a table. But they are not displaying here any college related tables. They are displaying here any restaurant related only. Why? Because this is a restaurant app. Clear or not? Respond everybody kindly. So that UX designer, he should have a clear idea of what type of icon he should choose. Clear it everybody? Right. So after choosing this, what we need to do? Okay, suppose I want to search anything. 
Can I search anything here? Respond to everybody. Can I search anything here? In this uh, image, can I search anything? Respond, please. No. Okay. So that what he will do? He will say he will send this to the client. But client also cannot search anything. So he, but he can what he can do? If he is satisfied with this, then he will ask us to convert that into a web page. So to convert this into a web, uh, this image into a web page, we need to use this HTML5 and CSS3 technology. And to make that web page response, we need to use this Bootstrap 4 technology. That means a framework. Later I will discuss. Okay, step by step. Okay, to convert that image into a web page, we need to use HTML5 and CSS3. So now observe here. Yeah. Six, web page always opens in the browser itself. See it now? Same designing or not? Logo, icon, location, look at everyone. Icon, user login and sign up. Menu. Set, you can search here. See it? Now here I can set. Of course, retrieving data is a powerful program of software, but user can type here. And then after you can click here. And then after see it, whenever you over it is zoom in. And yeah. here it is transparent, yeah. but whenever it is over it, it is white color. Yeah. And see it, whenever you over it is changing the color. Yeah. And see it now, review. Yeah. And then after copyright. And yeah. social media icon. Getting or not? Respond everybody. Respond okay. everyone. Yeah. Right. So this is a web page. Then what is a web page can be called user interface, not only user interface, UI and UI. A web page is nothing but combination of UI and UI. See, this is the UI because I can interact. And this is also UI. I can experience and I can click. Clicking means you are interacting. Seeing means experiencing. So, web page is nothing but combination of UI and UI. Clear it everybody? It will contain pure icons also. By using that icon, we can interact also and through this we can uh, type and we can interact with our application also. User interface stands for user interactivity by filling the data, by clicking, by overing and everything. User experience means by seeing something, he will experience something. That's it. Okay? Just because of seeing some icons. That comes under user experience. Clear it everybody? So this is about this. UX and UI. And so there is only five to ten minutes, right? Fine. So in this course, what is the template we are going to design? Okay, not this template. This is not responsive. Just for understanding purpose, I'm telling it. And in this course, what is the template we are going to design? Today we have exam. This template. What I will teach in this course? Somebody will get some doubt, right? Somebody will tell you anything or something like that. See it? This is the template we are going to design. This is third party font. This is not regular CSS3 font. Font. This is third party font. That means I will tell you how to utilize the third party font also. And this is responsive. And if you observe here this icon, this is not images, they are third party icons. Font awesome icon. That means I will tell you how to utilize the font awesome icons also. Third party icons also. And then after, see it whenever you are scrolling. This is this image is moving. That's one kindly. If this image is moving, hello? Image I'm asking to do. I'm asking about this image. This image. It is not moving. So this is called parallax effect. That is also I will tell you how to do it. And then after this project. And this one, social media icon. This is also third party tool. That is also I will tell you. And a slider by using bootstrap. Of course, image size are not safe. That's why it is coming zigzag order, but in real time they will give some equal size images so that they will come clear. And then after photo, a form, and how to integrate our uh, office related map in our application. That is also I will tell you, pure real time. And this is responsive. For example, observe that I am decreasing the size. Are you able to see the complete menu now? Previously, are you able to see the complete menu? But are you able to see the menu now? Respond everybody. No. But you are seeing the menu icon. Whenever you click, the menu is coming. That's it. 
and whenever you observe here, this is also reducing. And previously displayed four columns per row, but now only two columns per row. And button size also increased compared to the previous. See it. Other this size and this size. And again, if you decrease, see it still the items is increasing, and they are coming one by one. And if you observe here, this image is coming one by one. And when now you increase, still they are coming one by one. But there now it is coming two columns per. See it everybody. Till if you increase, they will come survey. See it now. Coming right everybody. And when now you decrease again, see they are coming three columns per row. But till if you decrease, the smartphone, they are coming two columns per row. This project area. And team section, they are coming one by one only. But if you increase, if you increase, still it is increasing. See, now they are coming for three columns per row. And social media accounts also. And trade also existing. In the same way, this quarter also. Meet everybody. Adjusting or not? Respond, please. Now they are coming one by one. So according to the depends upon the devices and the browser size. Our web page is manipulating or not its size. Respond, everyone. Adjusting its alignment or not? So this is called response or design. So this beautiful template we are going to design in the lab. Clear it, everyone? How much practical I will teach you? And not only this, I will teach in everything very practically. See, transform properties. You can see it, whenever you over, it is coming like this. That master card effect. Okay, not only this, translate example, see it? Which is very important. And whenever you over, a overlay is coming, something is coming, see it? How to display a background image? And how to make a transparent colors? How to display multiple colors? That is also I will tell you in this class. Okay, not only this, see it? Positions are very, very crucial. Teach everybody. I will take uh, in one, two, two, three classes. More than three classes also I will take for the only position. Why my students should perfect with the position? If you are able to do the positions work, 70% of the spaces, you can do it. Remaining 20% is adjusting the spaces. Remaining 10% is only small, small property related to CSS. That's what. Okay, see it. Overlay. Okay? Top to bottom, bottom to top, and everything. And see it, image overlay example. Image overlay also. And a lift door. See it, by default it is uh, transparent, but whenever you over, see, you know, right, lifter. Whenever lifter arrived, it is closed. But after some time, the left door will go to left side, right door will go to right side. Like this. Clear it, everybody. Here also, I use a transparent color. Respond everybody, understanding or not. Right, and then after, uh, this thing. For example, see it, whenever you over, it is coming like this. And whenever you over, honey, here, it is zooming without disturbing this. That is also very important. And then after, the animation, see that? Okay, this is the multiple colors, gradient color. Not only single background color. Gradient color also I will teach you. These are all pure CSS3. Okay, position fixes. See it? Whenever I am scrolling, is the menu is moving? Respond everybody. Whenever I am scrolling down, is the menu is moving? Respond everybody. No. This is called position fixed. And then after position sticky. After here, now I am scrolling, the menu is moving or not? Respond everyone. Menu is moving or not? Yes. But once it touches the viewport, after, after here, once it touches the viewport here, top position, is it moving now? Is it moving now, menu? No. This is called sticky position. Pure real time or not? Have you ever observed or not? Okay, right. Not only the pseudo selectors and see it, rainbow. By using HTML changes, I have made this rainbow. Okay, everybody? Right. And everything I will tell with practical knowledge only. Difference between inline block elements, visible dynamic and display non, interior presence also, and the box sizing, box shadow, everything. 
understand my point? Not only HTML and CSS, JavaScript and jQuery also, full fledged knowledge, real time knowledge they will give you. Sir, will you also teach Ajax and JSON? See, Ajax and JSON is not a big topic. Yes, I will teach. In the last, I will teach. Okay, they are just techniques only. Okay, right. Okay, Pawan. I will teach clear knowledge. I will give you clear knowledge also. Okay, right. I will tell you that. After completion of JavaScript and jQuery, you will understand that. Ajax and JSON. Okay, definitely I will tell you that. Is this point clear everybody what I am teaching in this classes? And other here is JavaScript also. Async and debate. Okay, and array methods. Not only this, cookies, local storage and session storage, map method, filter method. Okay, and get elements by class name, tag name. Okay, for each thing, inner text and inner HTML, keyboard events, mouse events, local storage, map method, see, objects. Query selector alert, promises, set timeout, clear timeout, set timeout and a clear timeout, set interval, clear interval, session storage, see it. All these latest topics I will clear, I will cover with clear knowledge. jQuery also, DOM traversing methods and everything. Clear it everybody, observe here, check out the menu. This is also pure jQuery, this is that of thing. By using jQuery, I have done this. Clear it everybody, respond. This is the practical examples I will tell you. Understanding or not? Okay? Everybody displays the course content. But directly I am displaying the course and course content along with the example. And one more thing I want to confirm you, I don't have any pre-written material. Whatever the notes is required, I will give it in the class. Every file will contain the notes also. Okay? After making payment, I will share the videos with everybody and the class files also. Files will contain the notes also. Files are downloadable, but videos are not downloadable. Videos only watchable. The results I will share with you after making them. Okay, everybody? On Monday to Friday only classes, daily same time, 9 to 10. Could you please share learning parts of different technologies? See, that is different courses, Thiru, uh, but whatever the knowledge you are getting in this JavaScript and jQuery in my classes, those will be useful to learn React JS, Angular, and Node.js also. Okay? Um, right. Sir, uh, is it a prerequisite for the other technologies? Like, because I am hearing a lot of things like CSS, Angular, CSS, Right. Like, this, this is the, yeah, this is the, yeah, see, this is the basic stone. This is the basic step to learn that technology. Okay, React.js also, MeanStack also, Node.js also, Express.js also. This JavaScript knowledge is a, uh, mandatory. So, whatever JavaScript you are learning from me, those knowledge will definitely help you for you to learn those technologies. Okay, Thiru. Not only for Thiru, everybody. Okay? Right. Definitely you will be benefited. Okay? So that's it, everyone. This is the class for today. One more time telling, I don't have any material. Notes I will share with you, everybody, through files. Okay? And a daily one hour class, Monday to Friday only classes, Saturday, Sunday, holiday. Okay? Right. Thank you, everyone. So, is that what is the duration, sir? Duration for this school? Two months, easily. And uh, course months, fee? Uh, our online team will discuss with you, okay? So I will okay. give you that number. Fine. Uh, I will give you that number. For everybody, okay? Take that number and you can contact them regarding payment and everything, okay? Right. So clear it, everyone. So we got some knowledge in this course, in this class. Right, everybody? That's fine. Got some knowledge or not? Yeah. Right. Right. Thank you, everyone. Meet tomorrow and we'll continue. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your feedback. Meet tomorrow and we'll continue. Okay? Bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah. In the last class, we have discussed about uh, what are the prerequisites. So actually, there is no prerequisites to learn this course. Basic content knowledge is enough. Then after introduction to 2x and UI. Okay, what is the difference between UX and UI? How our application will start, all those things. Nothing related to subject we have discussed. Okay, right. So now today class, we are going to do uh, some introduction. Okay, of the technologies. Right. So before going to that, for the new student purpose, I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ramesh. I have 35 years of experience as a web developer and a trainer. So uh, here I am very practical trainer. I will do everything with practical uh, examples. Okay? 
and uh, I don't have any pre-written material, whatever the notes is required, definitely I will give it to the class. Okay, Monday to Friday only classes, okay, Saturday, Sunday, holiday, daily one hour class. Okay, uh, 9 to 10, same time. Okay, everybody? Right. Where it everybody? Yes. Duration will be two months to two and a half months. Because there is five technology set, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and Bootstrap. Okay? Right. So this is the technology set which is the minimum tool type, two months to two and a half months. A template we'll do in the last uh, Mohiti. Okay? A template we'll do. So that means a response to the page will design, will add. Okay? Right. By using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Clear it everybody? Hello? Right. So now I am going to continue the class. Right. Yesterday we had discussed about UX and UI. So UX and UI, most of the people will think both are same. But actually they are different, but they have a relation. Okay. Both are uh, different, but they have a relation. Like you and your father. You and your father. See? You have a strong relation with your father. But Finally, you are in a two opposite person. Sorry, you are two individual person. You and your father is two individual person. Like that, UX and UI, both are individual terms and individual things, but they have a relation. Okay? So, UX stands for user experience. UI stands for user experience. User experience means by seeing our application, what user can experience. Okay, by seeing our application, by seeing our application, what user will experience in our application. User interface means how user can interact with our application. How user interface means how user can interact with our application. Clear it everybody? User experience means what user can experience in our application. User interface means how user can interact with our application. So how we can interact by clicking on something, by moving on something by scrolling up, scrolling down, or else by clicking on something, by typing. So what he is doing, he is interacting with our application. Clear it everybody? So by using inter uh, uh, user interface, you can provide interact with the user. User experience means what user can experience. For example, right, if you observe here, Amazon.in, see it everybody? By seeing this icon, you will experience something. Okay, here you will find. Okay, here we will find some uh, address related thing, something like that. Okay, everybody. And if you observe here, this is a logo. But if you observe this logo clearly, A and Z. A to Z. So you will experience something. So here you will get A to Z. He is directly and indirectly also selling. In this Amazon, you will get A to Z. Like that. Understand it, right? And you are seeing this icon, right? By seeing this, what you are experiencing, okay, in order to get this next, we need to click here. In order to get three years, we need to click here. He is not writing anything. Click here to see three years image. Click here to see backward or next image like that. By seeing this items, we are experiencing or not. That's one everybody. Especially new students, today at the new students, Asif, Mohiddin. What is your name? Mohiddin only or is Muhammad? Yungo H A Y N E J. Mohiddin only or Muhammad? I know you are not from <coughs> Muhammad, okay. Right. Asif, you understand me? You are not responding, Asif? Unmute yourself and you can respond. Asif, Asif. Thank you, Muhammad. Right. See it? By seeing these icons, what we are experiencing? Okay, we can click so that we will go to the far on previous image. By clicking here, we can go to the next image. Like that we are experienced. Understand it everybody. So this is the icons we are providing here. Play right? For example, if you go to any other application. Okay, so you will find some other icon. Okay, you will find some other icon. So by seeing that what you will do, you will experience something. For example, uh, you want to educate your father or his mother, your parents, they are illiterate. That means they don't know how to operate a mobile. So, but no need to explain everything. How mobile phone, mobile, uh, how mobile phone works, all those things. Simply what you will do, whenever the uh, phone rings, 
click on the green button. Whenever you want to close the conversation, click on the red button. Like that, you will let it cut or not? Respond everybody. Respond please. Hello. You want it? Okay. So what you will, what that, uh, what are you doing there? So everybody experience something by seeing red, green, and red. So by explaining about them, easily others will understand. That is the importance of user experience. So a web page is nothing but combination of UI and UI. Yes, sir. Okay. User can interact here. For example, I want from soap. See there, I can. Type here. So that what I am doing, I am interacting. How? By typing. Guys, please confirm to me. I'll offer with more wise and skill. Those are attending online. Guys, please confirm to me. I'll offer with more wise and skill. Those are attending online. Guys, please confirm to me. I'll offer with more wise and skill. Those are attending online. Guys, please confirm. 